Okay, so we are looking at parametric equations, and what is meant by that is that we actually define our x and y variables by a third variable, which is called the parameter. It means that we can create graphs like this one. Uh, this one's called a cardioid, um, and it's you require some third variable. You can see it's not a straightforward y equals some equation in x. It requires a third parameter to make that happen. Okay, so say for example you have something like this. X is defined by uh, t squared and y equals 2t. t is often used um, as a measure of time in parametric equations. Uh, in this case, we're just using it as, a, as another variable. We don't have any context here. Okay, so if we wanted to work out dy by dx, what would you do? We would use something similar to the chain rule. So you'd do dy by dt multiplied by dt by dx. So dy by dt, that's easy enough to see, that's just 2. Now, to get dt by dx, we need to differentiate um, x with respect to t so that we get dx by dt, and then do the reciprocal. So dx by dt would be 2t, so if we flip that upside down, we would get 1 over 2t. So dy by dx is equal to 1 over t. Now we might be able to, we, we might be asked to, um, find, for example, the gradient at a particular point. So at this one, it's uh, when t equals 3, what would the gradient be? So you can just put, put it into that formula, 1 over t. So dy by dx is a third when t equals 3. Now, if you need to actually plot this curve of x equals t squared and y equals 2t, then you would create a table of values. So you'd start with, um, you know, values for t, 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on, and then work out what x would be and what y would be to get your pairs of coordinates. So you'd end up with something like this for this, uh, this pair here, where x equals t squared and y equals 2t. Okay, so next example, we want to find the equation of the tangent to the curve that's defined by these two um, parametric equations here. And we're going to find that tangent at the coordinate of 3, 0. So we need dy by dx because we'll need the gradient of that line. So using our parametric equations, we're going to do dy by dt is 3t squared and dx by dt is 4t. So dy by dx looks like this. So then at the point 3, 0, we need to work out what t would be to be able to substitute it into dy by dx. So the x equation there, the 2t squared plus 1 equals 3, gives us that t could possibly be plus or minus 1. We also need to check it against the y equation. This one gives us that t equals 1, and we have to pick the, the value of t that satisfies both of those things. So it can't be 1 and minus 1, it can only be 1. So the equation of our tangent will look like this using our um, equation of a straight line formula. So at our coordinate 3, 0, the y value is 0. The gradient when t is 1 will be 3 quarters, just substituting it into our dy by dx. And the x coordinate is 3. So then you can go ahead and rearrange that. And then usually we try to put it in a form where it's got no fractions. Okay, you might also be asked to eliminate t from the equations so that you do get an equation that just links x and y with no t involved. So you would rearrange to make t the subject of one of them and then substitute it into the other one. 